So let's rebuild and see what we get. I'm going to click over here to build. Click to build. So we have a typo here. This has to be double quotation marks, not single. Sorry about that. Right, let's build. Okay, so zero errors, zero warnings. Now let's run the code. I'll click here to run, and then it's finished running. So all we need to do is go to our project folder and see if the files were created. Let's do that. So we have input signal dot that here, and then we have impulse response dot that. So it's created the files. Let's see what I mean by writing the files vertically. I'm just going to right click here and open with Notepad++. And this is what the file looks like. This is the content of the file. It's written all the array members into the file vertically. That is why we put a new line there. I hope you understand what I meant by vertical writing now. So now what we have to do is go to GNU plot and then plot the content of, um, of this input signal dot dat and impulse response dot dat dot dat meaning dot dat. Let's just go plot these two waveforms. Yeah. So I'm going to open GNU plot. I'm going to come over here. And this is it. And I'm going to browse to the um, the folder that contains my my files and the folder is the convolution folder. So we can come over here and then browse there. I'm just going to locate the folder here. It's in DSP project, C project, and I've got convolution here and then I'll click OK. So what I want to do is I want to um, plot two signals like we did before. We can just reset and then we can set the default palette size. I would say size one, one, and then we can set multi plot, multi plot. And it's going to open the GNU plot window. This is it. And once that is done, we can set the size of the first plot. I can say set size. Let's choose the quadrant. We just set each quadrant as 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. So I say 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 like this. And then we can select the top left corner one by setting the origin, set origin to 0, 0, 0.5. And once that is done, we can plot the signal. And what we want to do is plot. The name of the file is input underscore signal dot dat let's verify input signal dot dat that's the name of the file and what we want to do is we want to plot with lines so we say with lines and then we want to plot it in a color a color black so we can say line color which means lc we're using the rgb format and we can put over here we're using the RGB format. This doesn't require quotation marks. And then we put over here black like this. And then we hit enter. So this is our input signal. You've seen this already. You've seen this before. So we're going to plot the impulse response at this side to the right side of this signal. And all we have to do then is set the um is set the origin to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Set origin. 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 like this and then we can plot by saying plot and the name of the file here is impulse response very simple impulse underscore response dot dat and then we say plot with lines and then line color rgb format want to plot this in red color red and then we hit enter so this is what the impulse response looks like just minimize this so that's what we have we have these two signals we're going to convolve these two signals and we'll see what we will reproduce so we have the signal this signal here the one in black has 15 kilohertz and one kilohertz. And this impulse response is generated in MATLAB. And this is a low pass filter. 
with a cutoff frequency of 6 kHz. We're going to convolve these two and then we'll come later on to plot the output of the convolution here and then we shall see. So let's go on, let's continue. We're going to develop our convolution algorithm now. I'll just minimize this.